best example of a monitor PRV we will discuss is the Crosby J series with the Fisher 4320 position monitor. The Fisher position monitor is a linkageless and easy to install design that is magnetically coupled to the valve trim. The monitor provides the position of the valve trim indicating the valve is lifted and an overpressure event has occurred. In addition to monitoring the valve trim position, this data can also be used to calculate the volumetric release of the media for the duration of the event. The final example of a monitored event is a pressure relief valve with a position indicator. In this graph, you will see the system pressure shown in green and the valve's percentage of lift in blue on the vertical axis, while time is on the horizontal axis. As the system pressure increases, the valve reacts and begins to lift. You will notice a step in the system pressure for about a second that is reflected in the valve lift remaining constant as well. As system pressure continues to increase, the valve pops open cleanly and achieves 90% of its maximum lift and relieves the overpressure event. As the system pressure begins to reduce and fall below the valve set point, the valve lift drops dramatically in response and ultimately closes. In this example, you saw a relief valve that is open and closed cleanly with very little simmering and no chattering, which is ideal for pressure relief valve operation. In this example, we will illustrate a valve that is simmering. In an overpressure event, fluid being relieved with an inlet static pressure below the pressure relief valve's popping pressure with no measurable capacity is considered simmering. This may be caused by inlet line loss, incorrectly sized valves, or valves that are not set to the system requirements. Over time, this will result in excessive wear of the seating surfaces, requiring the valve to be serviced. In this graph, you will see the system pressure in green begin to increase slightly at the 35 PSI mark, as well as the valve's reaction to this pressure by lifting to 16% open. As this event is not sufficient to open the valve fully, the valve's lift lowers to 6% open as the pressure is relieved and the valve begins several seconds of simmering under the slow pressure condition. As the system pressure increases to the valve set pressure, the valve immediately pops open, relieving the pressure, and then returns to its closed position after the overpressure event has concluded.